My name is Patricia and welcome to my channel. All right, so I think it was on my last hair tutorial. I got a few requests for this makeup look that I'm rocking right here. And this is my no makeup makeup look. So it's supposed to look really, really natural. Just enhance your natural beauties. Um, you know, not too much eyeshadow, not too much foundation, not too much anything really. I love this look. This is my go-to work look. So if you're looking for a look to, you know, to go to work and you're not a huge makeup wearer, this is, this is great. I'm a big makeup wearer, but I just feel like, you know, in my job, it's just really unnecessary. I'm a nurse. It's unnecessary to go to work with just a ton of foundation. I'm really excited right now because I'm sipping on my chai latte. <clears throat> That's why I'm so happy, even though I'm about to go to work in, ooh, about 10 minutes. Let me get this intro out of the way. The full face is included in this video, except for my eyebrows, which I have two tutorials on this channel already. I do do my brows a little bit different, but the techniques in there are basically the basics are in the videos and I plan to do an updated eyebrow tutorial soon. So if you'd like to know how I created this no makeup makeup look right here, mm -hmm. here it is, take a look, bam. Then please continue to watch. My eyebrows are already done um, and I have primer all over my face. So just use you know your favorite type of primer. Thing is, I, when I wear makeup, especially like my work nights, it's 12 hours long, so I need my makeup to last me from beginning to end. So I always wear primer even when I do this sort of toned down type of look, okay? All right, so let's get started on the face. I'm going to be using Makeup Forever HD Foundation. My color is um, 177. This is a medium coverage foundation. Some say it's buildable. I don't like the way it looks when it's built up. So I like it at medium and that's how I use it. It, you know, it really looks like skin, you know, when you use it as a medium coverage. Like I said, I don't like to build this up. All right, so I still like my skin to show through a little bit and um, yeah, this does that for me. I'm gonna be using it with my e.l.f. Uh, powder brush. What I do is, let me get a makeup wipe. I take the foundation and I apply it to my finger and sort of just dot it all over my face. And um, I just do a combination of stippling and swirling. Or stippling and buffing, that's the correct term. I tend to stipple in the places where I need more coverage. As you guys can see, I do have a, you know, I have acne scars. So I stipple in the places where I have acne scars, which is like on my forehead, right here where I put the foundation, on my cheeks, and a little bit on my chin as well. So I stipple, then buff out. Stipple, then buff out. My camera's making me look like a light bright. I promise you I'm not this light skin. Is it the light? Is it the lamp? Is that what it is? This is my color. Okay, it's just the lamp that I have right here. Uh-oh, let's turn it back on. All right, so I'm happy with the coverage that we got, okay? I'm gonna be using concealer now, just a little bit of concealer. This is going to be Max Studio Fix in NC45. It's a shade lighter, I wear the NC50 in the studio effect. I'm gonna use my ring finger and um, just apply this under my eyes. Now I'm not looking for the Kim K, you know, super highlighted look. This is just to add some brightness and also give me just a little bit more coverage in that area so I look awake. All right, we're done with that. I'm going to now use some pressed powder. I'm going to use a powder that is a little bit more sheer, okay? I don't wanna use something like the Studio Fix powder by MAC, it's kinda of too heavy. It gives too much coverage. Like I said, I still want my skin to show through, okay? So I'm gonna be using this Fiori Roberts pressed powder. It's in uh, toe slash medium, clay medium slash dark. Why does it have so many names? I don't know, but uh, yeah, y'all can't see. I'm not gonna even try that. <sighs> Some of these, like those little booths inside the mall, that's why I got this. Um, but if you can't get this, hit up Iman. It's the same exact thing. Even the color shades are the same. So just go to Iman, um, the Mon section in your Target, um, or Walmart, and just go to the pressed powder and get toast, or maybe called clay medium, okay? I'm gonna use my, um, what is this thing called? A uh, powder brush by Real Techniques, Samantha Chapman. And I'm going to just take the powder, put it on there, and just distribute that all around my face, including under my eyes where we put um, the concealer. 
Now I'm going to contour. Yes, I contour um, for this look. I just don't do it like OD, but I do want to add, like I said, some depth back to the face. The whole point is that it's for this look to look natural. I have some natural pigmentation right here in this area, so I want to put, bring that back because you kind of muted it out with the foundation. But look at my dance. Muted it out. Hey, muted it out. I use just a pressed powder that's a few shades darker than my skin tone. This is Black Radiance Pressed Powder. Um, and the color is ebony. There we go. So I'm just gonna take ebony. I'm gonna take this random brush. I don't know where I got it. Probably the dollar store, but I just really like it for contouring. And just take a little bit of that on the brush, and then apply it to the perimeter, right into my hairline. Combination of you know just windshield windshield wiper strokes and then circles. And then into the grooves of my cheeks, just right here. Like I said, a very light contour. And I'm just gonna add a little bit right here on my jawline on both sides. Next, I'm gonna take a blush. Okay, this is Cabana Boy by The Bomb. And it's just like a, oh, it's a pink-ish type of color. It doesn't, um, it's not shimmery, but it has like a satin finish. It's not shimmer. It's like satin, just shine. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. My camera keeps stopping on me. It needs to stop acting out. So I'm gonna apply it right here on the cheeks. Ooh, you see that like flush of pink? Oh, that's so pretty. I don't do the full smile. I just kind of, you know, do one of these. Like you smell something stink? Yeah. Yeah, something that's thank like ooh, 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 ooh. And just apply it right here. At this point, what I do is I moisturize my lips um, to prepare for my lip product, which I'm not actually gonna put on right now. I just like the product to sink, sink into my lips and just sort of do its magic while I'm working on the rest of my face. So now I'm going to take this right here. Let me tell you what it was. It was Elf's Makeup Mist Setting Spray. But right now, what it is, is water and aloe vera juice. So, um, yeah, ain't nobody got time. That's what this was. What I just did, I kept the bottle and this kept putting water and aloe vera juice in it. And it works just fine for me. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to spray it all over my face. And this just helps to set your makeup. I've said this before in tutorials. It's like hairspray for your face. Just like hairspray helps to set and hold your hair. This, your setting spray helps to set and hold your foundation in place. So now I'm gonna go to my eyes, which honestly I don't do a whole lot of work. All right, so here's what it is. I'm gonna use two mascaras today, and in most days I use two mascaras depending on how I want my eyelashes to look. You know, the mascaras may vary. You know, I have about six or seven right now, and I like to try different mascaras. That's I actually do. I'm not committed to any particular mascara, okay? I like just trying a whole lot. So today what I'm going to be using ooh, ooh, is Lash Stiletto by Maybelline and then I'm going to be using um, Revlon Grow Luscious. But let me tell you what does stay the same even though my mascaras tend to vary. So it's usually a volume mascara and a lengthening mascara that I use together. I always use the one with the smaller brush first just to sort of pick my hairs out. And then I use the volumizing one to um, add volume. Duh. I also use the one with the smaller brush on my lower lashes as well. All right, now the final step with the eyes, I'm going to take my Naked palette. And I'm going to take this color right here called Half Baked. I'm going to just take that on a small um, shadow brush. This one's kind of tapered at the top. And I'm going to apply it to my tear duct into, y'all, you'll see, you'll see. Right here, can you see? Yeah, right here, the tear duct, and then take it right here. So it's kind of like a V, but on the inner portion, like, yeah. Just to add some brightness to the area, and then I'll blend it out a little bit. The final piece of the puzzle is 
highlighting slash bronzing slash whatever you want to call it okay so what I do is and I always do this the very very last I just feel like it's like a beautiful finishing touch all right so what I take um this right here it's called uh, ginger snap it's by black radiance and it's um, an artisan color baked bronzer and I take this on a fan brush and I just add a little bit of product and then I just put this at the high points of my face now this is more like a bronzer it does have um, lighter pigments in it so um, it, it's like a bronzer slash uh, highlighter um, so it gives you that sort of bronze look at the same time it does highlight the area so I go right down here sweep it across and I just put like a little bit of the product on this brush I don't know deep right here on my nose and then at the very high points of my cheeks right here and I take a little bit more and dust it right here on my cupid's bow now on to the lips depending on where I'm going my lip may be different if I'm going to work I'm going to use a neutral color if I'm going to another place that's not work I'll go ahead and do a bold lip I'm gonna use what am I gonna use bear it all by wet and wild Sorry, I totally wasn't prepared. I should I should have everything ready to go. Before I put Barrett all on, I'm gonna take a brown lip pencil. It doesn't matter, really, it doesn't matter the brand, but it does matter if it's sharpened. And just apply that to the outer perimeter of your lips. You can either blend it down with the pencil or you can do what I like to do, is just mix it in before I put my lipstick on like this. Then I take the lipstick and just apply it to the middle of my lip. And then I'm going to take a lip gloss. So this is NYX Mega Shine Lip Gloss in Natural. And then just sort of, just apply it over bear it all and there you go I'll make sure to leave a full list of the products that I use down in the description bar below don't hesitate to leave any questions in the comment sections if you have any to my new subscribers thank you for joining in on my journey to everyone thank you for watching this video and I'll see you next time in another one don't forget to hit me up on Twitter Instagram and Facebook I'll leave those links and those names down in the description bar as well I hope you have a good day, good night, whenever it is that this video meets you. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you haven't. The thumbs up button before you go. Mwah.